This little arm can save you hundreds of dollars. Let's do this. What's up, YouTube? I did not have a video, a real talk video last week because uh, it was Memorial Day weekend and I spent some time with the family. We actually went to a zoo, which was dope. But this week, we are talking about <gasps> this boom arm. <sighs> I'm in full blown Call of Duty mode. A couple weeks ago when I did a, I think it was my lens review video, I did a quick unboxing of the boom arm from newer. The reason why I wanted to use this arm is because I want a flat lay shot potentially for photography. I wanted to use some type of overhead rig, but I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars, I mean probably like 100 to 200, maybe even more, on like a C stand or uh, potentially any type of other boom arm system. This has been wonderful to get overhead, just straight overhead shots. I think this is like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. So if you're looking for a top down view on your videos or photography, maybe a flat lay photo, or just like an overhead rig, this is a great little solution for you. Now, this is a, a simple boom arm. Uh, now normally this also comes with another arm that for my tripod just kind of slides into the tripod uh, and it has a counterweight. Uh, it's where I can put like something to weigh it down. I've only tried it with my A6300 and so for smaller mirrorless cameras it works great. I don't know how it would be with maybe a bigger DSLR or you know anything like that. I would imagine for maybe like a larger size mirrorless it should still be okay. Yeah, I don't know the exact uh, payload that it does. Maybe I'll put it in the description or somewhere in this general area. Uh, but that being said, I thought it'd be interesting. So obviously this is just a, a boom arm. There's nothing like three reasons why you should buy this boom arm. And no, it's just a boom arm. Like if you want an overhead rig, this is what you could use. This is you know, something. So I thought it'd be interesting to showcase this boom arm by uh, doing a little bit of an unboxing. A couple months ago, I placed an order for a custom knife from a knife maker here in North Carolina. Hashtag by local. But this past week, it just came in and I've been super pumped to show it to you guys. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm gonna show you how this does by doing a little bit of an unboxing. So yeah, here we go. All right, so this is what came in the packaging. You guys saw a little bit of the box. I'm gonna wait to show you guys the knife because that's the main event. We're gonna first look what's in this pouch, which is on point with branding. Uh, I'm super impressed with the guys at Horn and Heel. And one thing I already knew was in here was a, a thing of blade oil. I just saw this upon opening this, which I am super stoked about. Being able to have a Horn and Heel pin for my jacket. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos with my jacket, I have a ton of pins. So having this is definitely gonna add to the uh, collection there. Super pumped. I've got a couple of cards in here. Just some information about Horn and Heel. I've got a Horn and Heel sticker, a Band-Aid. I saw this when I first opened packaging and I was like, that small detail that just kind of helps with, uh, you know, just kind of the small things. And then this is some information about the blade, what type of steel it is, what type of wood and things that were used on the handle. Now for the main event. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, this is beautiful, just beautiful. You can see the ebony and, and spalted tamarind in there for the handle. And he got the blade a little bit darker. I wanted something like a darker blade, so he got a little bit darker. And I love just detail in here. Uh, he got his logo in there, just, oh, and this thing, I've already, I've already been, like I said, I've already been using it, just cuts like a beast so super pumped so if you guys are looking for custom knives this is called their commuter knife they also have a field knife they do a lot of kitchen knives and so if you're a chef and you're in need of some new knives and you want to buy local check out hornandheel.com again i've been nothing but impressed with the quality and the attention to detail that has gone in uh, to this knife and, and even just the packaging uh, but yeah this gives you an example of what it would look like if you were to use this boom arm for any type of overhead rig. So I hope that was a good indicator of what type of shots you are able to get with this boom arm. I'll put a link in the description below of where you can buy this boom arm. Like I said, I think it's a great value, a great way to save some money, but also get that overhead rig 
type approach uh, to your videos. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you enjoyed this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you here next time. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. I'm not gonna lie. I have tried to film this thing like 10 times. Trying a new setup where audio is separate from video um, and uh, not baked into the actual video. Uh, well, part of that is I did not start recording